Kohala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mel Son of Ruel. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Um this may be may or may not be quick. I don't know. We'll see. But um basically this is just a couple of precepts on um letting fear be your guide. And of course, um we are speaking of the fear of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, understanding that this is the same God um, that flooded the earth, right? Genesis 17 will tell you anything that drew breath was gone. Uh, 144 called Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And according to the book of Micah, he says, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, with that being said, Let's get get to these scriptures that I wrote down. Of course, we got Psalms on the in the beginning, but um, I actually want to start from the bottom up, and we'll do Psalms twenty five and fourteen. Okay, so straight to the point, the highlighted portion: the secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will show them His covenant. All right, so. The opposite of fear in this case would be proud or being uh, having a, a proud look, um, a boastful tongue, basically uh, tempting or trying the Lord as if, you know, he's a power to be trifled with. And of course, we understand that this uh, the understanding or the mysteries of the kingdom is called a mystery for a reason because it's not for everyone. So if you show that you are of a, a contrite spirit. Right, and you show that you are uh, understanding that in this position we as a people are in the wrong and you bow down your head you understand that the Lord will have mercy on those one he'll have mercy on whom he have mercy on but two uh, the scriptures thoroughly tell you that mercy is with the contrite mercy is with the righteous with the upright um, things of that nature uh, where do we leave off? A proverb. Actually, we're going to stay in Psalms because we're already here. So Psalms 1, uh, 111, and f 111 and 10. Why did I do that? We were already there. <laughs> 111. And first I want to read 5 because this is very fitting into the times that we're going in. Uh, people that are proud, that are boastful, that are uh, woefully and willfully ignorant um, are going to be found lacking in these days. So we'll start with five. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. And part of going into that covenant is if you do this, I will do that. Or it's very cut and dry. You do right. I'm going to do right by you. You act a fool, I'm going to show you I can be the bigger fool. And I'm in control of all, says Yahweh, right? So he, he going to let you know, I got all of this. This is mine. So you ain't going to be, you know, I, I'm playing chess here. <laughs> you playing checkers. You ain't keeping up with me. Your arms are too short to box with Yahweh. All right, straight to verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Now, of course, um, the law, the statutes and commandments, they, that's not how you are saved. But it is a proper way to behave, to show your fear, to show your faith, to show your obedience, to show that you care. That you actually give a damn about how the Lord uh, wanted his, his earth to be run, how he wanted his people to behave, right? A standard. Which in black culture, in our people, they hate standards. They hate uh, order. Anything that says, you know, that you hold them to and say, hey, you wrong for that. You can't judge me. Uh, I, 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 I'm a man like you. Like, you know, you know how niggas get. So we've got that. On to the next. Uh, 111 is the next. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, 119 is where we're going to go from there since we're so close. I just want to make sure I didn't miss nothing.
Well, look at that. Psalms uh, one, uh, 118 and 6, the Lord is on my side. How do we just read how to keep the Lord on your side? Or the, on, well, a, a couple of scriptures. There's many more. Uh, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? And that is the, uh, that is the uh, a mentality you need to have. We all need to have. Um, is to come out of the flesh and realize that, you know, if Yahweh Shai suffered, then some to some sort of degree, we are going to have to see and go through some things as well. And uh, if you abide in the flesh, it's it's going to be a lot worse uh, because thinking in this flesh is a finite form of thinking. And all you can see is as far as this world goes. But where we are, where we, um, where our mind should be, where our heart should be, is, is is focused on things that are above. Most folks can't see the forest for the trees, right? Um, okay, we did that. Now let's go to Proverbs 13. And we'll read 26, 27, and I believe 33. Wait a minute, what is that? A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, and the soul of transgressors shall eat violence. Yeah. Um, but we want 20... Uh-oh. Did I look at that right? 13. Twenty-six and twenty-seven. Uh okay. How about that? Or maybe it's fourteen. Yes, it's fourteen. I wrote that down wrong. Proverbs 14, verse 26, 27. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Why? Because if you're doing right, then the controller of all, the creator of all, will guide your path and keep you out of the way of evil and danger. And his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death as I just stated but this was put much better all right very simple you do this I take care of you you act a fool you reap the rewards of a fool verse 33 wisdom resteth in the heart of him that hath understanding what did King David say through thy precepts I get understanding and hate every false way which I think I believe I put that Yep, Psalms 119 and 104. So we'll go to that, that precept in just a second. Um, Wisdom resteth in the heart of him that hath understanding, but that which is in the midst of fools is made known. So let's go, and we're going to pair that. Psalms 119. Oh, yeah, this is the longest... Uh, Longest one, so 104. Uh, but we'll read for thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Scroll down. Look at that. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, yea, I I shall observe it with my whole heart. Right. So, ask and you shall receive, according to the book of James. Right. You ask without wavering, without doubt. And with understanding comes the full confidence. Understanding and wisdom, they all go hand in hand. But it all starts with the fear and bowing down your head, being of a contrite spirit. Humble. Let's see. I understand more than the ancients because, look at that. I understand more than the ancients because I kept my precepts. And we are at an advantage because everything is already written. We ain't living, well, we're living out of the future prophecies, but we see the end, clear as day. So there's a clear advantage. The scriptures also tell you the righteous were never forsaken. So you live according to this word, and you are golden, right? Of course, um, that is what the elect will be doing in these days. All right, 104, the point we were getting through thy precepts, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So we can deduce that um, learning the ways of the Lord gives you an understanding of life, gives you a leg up on uh, everyone else, right? So anything outside of that is a false way. It is vanity. Um, it leads surely to your undoing. <clears throat> Look at that. Thy word, 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, right? Because 
darkness is synonymous with not knowing, with, with, with a lack of understanding. In dark, you can't see. So keeping these precepts, all right, showing your faith maketh it a lamp unto your feet and you can walk about on this earth navigating, especially in the land of our captivity, um, navigating in a way that people just don't understand. They don't understand the power of the Lord. Let's see. Like, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law I do love. That's 113. And people, um... Okay, yeah, we got that. Proverbs 8. I think we got that. But if not, here you go. Here's some things up top right here. If you want to look into. Uh, completely unrelated but uh just some things you know, some video topics on where this devil has gone and spread his madness radio free asia radio free europe okay just a little side note but anyway let's go to proverbs eight and seven all right for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips again praying together that Keeping the precepts will allow you to understand what is false and what is true. And you hate that false way. Um, 7 through 13 is what I was looking at. Okay. Mm, for wisdom is better than rubies and the things that may be desired not compared. Uh, here we go. 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy. What have I been harping on? And the evil way forward mouth do i hate right so if, again the same thing i've been harping on let's see so 19 and 23 and then that will be it actually no i actually want to get one more after 19 and 23 the fear of the lord tended to life and he that hath it shall abide uh Shall, ab shall abide satisfied he shall not be visited with evil and a contrarian will say you know I've done this I've done that uh, and I, I'm good some folks live out their days right and some people are able to get away with a lot of things I know before I understood who I was and coming into this truth I did dirt and I couldn't understand for the life of me why Everybody always got away except me. <laughs> and it was not for a, a lack of intelligence. I'll tell you that. It's because the Lord had his hand on me and called her Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So folks will, will say, you know, they'll be faithless and say things uh, contrary to what these scriptures say because they've done dirt and they're okay. They're walking around. But we'll close on this scripture. Uh -oh. We'll close on Ecclesiastes 8. Because there ain't nobody getting away. No one gets away. Ecclesiastes 8 and... Um, tsk, 11. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. When we understand... By gaining understanding in this word, right, by letting the Lord be a light unto our feet, being fearful, being humble, opening yourself up to an understanding and rebuke through these scriptures. So basically, you're cutting yourself with the sword. You're shedding the unprofitable fat that will drag you down. Let me, hold on, before I continue, I thought there was something else that I wanted. Okay, um, yeah, you're shedding, you know, you're cutting yourself and you're shedding the improbable fat uh, that tears you down. I actually lost my train of thought trying to look as... <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. I was going somewhere with that, I promise I was. But but anyway, we'll, we'll reread this. Uh, because the sentence of an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And... Um, we understand what the reward of an evildoer is, and we understand how the elect will behave and their reward. 
Um, so with that being said, I pray that you are edified. Shalom.